Look, it's a good question because it's come up and, I, and one of the conditions of our march, in fact, the, the, the one thing the municipality was strictest on is that we had to guarantee that we would that we would um, uh, uh, impose the regulation. So, we'll, so, they'll, yeah. so there'll be distancing um, and people are asked to wear masks and we've got 150 Cape Independence masks that we're going to give out free for people to wear. So if we're going to wear yeah. a mask, uh, then, then, then wear a Cape Independence mask and uh, and, and then, then, then it's a win-win, isn't it? So actually, we're, yeah, we're going to turn that to our advantage when you look at marches you're going to see a hell of a lot of these flags there we go so hey there we go so that, that that, we're, we're giving that we're giving those marches that so what, what a fantastic way to respond so we can be safe and we can still send a signal okay you want us to wear masks fantastic let's be safe and those masks are going to scream cape independence too All right, wait actually i do have one more question i know you touched on it earlier the whole thing about uh how the mainstream media is trying to paint this as the whole movement is like a racist uh, movement. Basically, if you're in support of Cape Independence, then you are racist because you want to break away from the from the ANC, right? Um, in brief, what do you say to that? Look, over there. What 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 can you say? Um, we, 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 you've watched, I think you've seen on our feeds, we've been posting clips of people that are coming to the march. We, you know, actually, the vast majority of those clips are from people that aren't white. Um, the, 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 the majority of Cape Independent supporters we know from polling aren't white. At this organization is, is going to be My Independence, which is a, which is a, which is a colored organization. Uh, a lot of you guys know Anati, who, who's, the, who's the, the, the black guy that does the Cape Independence podcast. Anati is going to be there. Um, the, 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 the brown empowerment uh, movement is going to be there. The community we're marching with, Plutusville, is a coloured community. Um, so, you know, there's only so much we can do. People will believe what they want to believe. You know, it, it, it's the great slur in South Africa, but the reality of the situation is um, it, it, the, the independence movement has got nothing to do with race. In fact, it's it's the very antithesis of it. If you if, if you look and see the reasons why, and we've polled, um, and so have other groups, and the, the polling is consistent, it shows there are two things what, that make people want to have Cape independence. They want to escape racism. They want non genuine non-racialism, and, and, and they want to get an end to crime. And the two biggest things that people want is to get past racism and away from crime. So actually the notion that it's, that it's racist is, is, is nonsense. Are there, are there racist people in the Western Cape? Will there be people that get drawn to, to, to this on, on the fringes? Yes. Um, like in anything else but as a movement it's absolutely not racist it's exactly the opposite we're trying to create we're trying to save a rainbow nation uh, because the rainbow nation has, has has been torn up thrown on the floor and trampled upon by the anc and we're, and we're trying to you know we're trying to say it never belonged to them the dream of a rainbow nation was ours and it can't die with them actually the western cape is the most diverse province in South Africa, and as an independent country, it'll be far more ethnically diverse than, than South Africa itself.